Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Yev. You often ask me which keyboard is faster when we are talking about Hall Effect mechanical keyboards. And my general understanding and general answer that is this is no much difference between these keyboards in terms of speed. It may sound shocking for you and you may say, come on Yev, it's ridiculous. Everybody knows that Wooting is the most advanced and fastest keyboard right now. Or you can say, come on Yev, the copy of Wooting, which has cost 40 bucks from AliExpress, cannot be as good as the original one. Let me show you something. First. Let me explain what we are testing today. And we are testing the difference in delays between the start of the key press and the first frame showing a reaction on the monitor. For this test, I will be using the following equipment. Gaming PC, Corsair Vengeance, monitor Dell UltraSharp, camera Canon EOS R6, software Adobe Premiere Pro, and four different keyboards. Wooting 80HE, Keychron Q2HE, Matt 68HE, and random budget non-HE keyboard. What is my test logic? I will place each keyboard one by one in front of my monitor and record a key press along with the reaction on the screen. The monitor is operating in 120Hz mode. The camera is recording at almost 120 FPS. All keyboards will be connected via USB-C directly to the PC. I will count how many frames it takes for the signal from the key press to become visible on the monitor. Simple calculations show that if we are recording at almost 120 FPS, one frame will be around 8 milliseconds. Ok guys, so what we should expect before we will do a test. We have three different lines for 8K, 1K and 500Hz pulling rate. And you can see all stages, what can influence on a delay. And you can see that from like finger press to the monitor pixel update, we should expect 34, 35, 36 milliseconds of delay between press and monitor reaction. Okay, so let's start from Wooting 80 HE. Let's do a quick three presses. Okay, let's check what, we, what we've got. Uh, you may see uh, three sets of data for different actuation point. And for the first one, we have only four frames between a uh, start of the press and the reaction on the monitor. Again, same for frames for the different actuation point and only for the longest one for 4 millimeters we have 6 frames. Simple calculation, we have or 32 milliseconds delay or 48 milliseconds delay. Let's move on with Keychron Key2HE. Let's do a quick 3 presses and again what we have same, uh, it's a little bit different actuation point because Keychron cannot do 0.1, so that's why 0.2 went the same at the end at 0.8. But the idea is the same, you can see a 5 frames, 6 frames, and I don't know why again 4 frames, maybe it depends on how hard I hit a um, key, like physically, right? But anyway, it's the same, 32 millisecond delay or 48 millisecond delay max. Let's switch to the MAT 68HE. Let's do this three presses and let's see what we have. Again, 0.2 because it cannot do 0.1 and we have four frames, four frames and six frames. So basically same 32 milliseconds minimum or 48 max. Now let's switch to the random simple non hall effect keyboard. Three presses. Result. Okay, we don't have any difference in actuation point because it's a simple mechanical switch, not magnet one. And you can see that, again, maybe it depends on how hard I hit a button, button right, or, or a keycap. We have six, seven, or again, six frames. And this gives us 48 millisecond minimum or 56 millisecond maximum. So for you guys, just 
just for you to understand where, I, where I'm getting these frames. So you can see this example. This is a wooden, right? And this is a three presses. I am just counting as a first press. You see? It's no, no action on a keycap, right? Then first press, first frame as a first press, first action, then press, then press, and we see the reaction only on during frame number four. Once again, press one, two, three, four, and you can see a reaction on the screen, this letter. Same on the second round. No presses, press one, two, three, four, and you see the reaction on the screen. Same with third time. No, no press, first frame, second, third, and so on. And in this case, we have six until letter appears on the screen. I hope it helps. Okay, guys, the main part of the video, which keyboard is faster? Surprise, surprise. And you guys can see that it seems it's no any meaningful or practical difference between the Hollywooding and the copy Mad 68HE. Even more, guys, I hope you can understand and you can see that it's no significant difference even between Wooting and a random mechanical non-magnetic switches keyboard. It's a shame. Okay, guys, I hope it was clear enough to answer your question which keyboard is faster. If I miss something or if you know something what can significantly influence on these results of this testing or you have any other proof that these keyboards are really different from the performance point of view and I'm talking about speed delay in milliseconds between press of the key and reaction on, on the screen. This is only what you should concern of because all this other 8K, 1K, 16K of refresh rate pulling, what does it mean? It's, it's, it's been nothing if you cannot see this on your monitor, right? With your gaming PC in your game. So I hope I was able to explain you and show you, but I'm happy to discuss any questions or thoughts or ideas in a comment under this video. And if it was helpful, do not forget to press a like and subscribe to my channel. I will try to create more videos, more interesting videos about mechanical keyboards.